yeah, football. Initially, football meant to me local football because I am born and brought up with Rajasthan Sporting Club, which one of the best clubs in Delhi at one point of time because my uncle was the secretary of the club for several years and the uh, club was almost run from my our our, our house only the, on every sunday the jerseys were being washed <laughs> in our house only and my mother and my aunt aren't always complained that they didn't have space to put their their clothes <laughs> so delhi football to me meant local football because i i have i'm born and brought up with local football local league whether the standard is very good or bad, that's a diff at one point of time the standard was very good. And uh, secondly, the Lee football meant to me, which I think all my colleagues will also say the same thing, meant to me were Durant Cup and DCM Cup. Because two months in the winter, we were engrossed with football in Delhi, with the best players from best clubs from all over the country and playing the play playing in Delhi. So Absolutely. Football, football in Delhi was a very vibrant culture at that point of time. And we'll come to it. Why, why, why it, why it didn't happen? That you will come to later. Yes, what, come what, to hap it. what, yeah. what happened to you? You will have plenty to share because you have covered a lot of. I mean, I being a Calcutan, I mean, football meant DCM, Durand Rovers. I mean, hmm. these are the four tournaments we always thought that they were the right up there. And if you win one of them, it means you're the best. Okay, Siddharth, uh, you've seen world football, you've covered world football, you're Delhi, you, you work for Times of India in Delhi. What does football in Delhi mean to you? Yeah, football in Delhi uh, would, would imply a journalistic uh, grind for me. That's the first thing which comes to mind. I probably straddle the two eras of, of Mir and uh, Jadidha. Is that he talks about old time, Mir says that it's still alien to him. So I, I belong in a time in between when it kind of changed. But but for me, uh, loving football and uh, loving the idea of probably writing, uh, football in Delhi represented work, the uh, daily uh, daily grind of, of, of a reporter learning his trade. That was and like uh, JD mentioned, probably also the history of uh, the sporting history of uh, of Delhi was prob uh, seen best through its football, its local football, the Turand, the uh, the DCM were were the national idea. But locally, you can probably get an insight of what the the immediate post independence history of india and, and and the capital city would have been through its football it's funny because bob horton brought international football to to the ambedkar stadium like mayor would attest but he also probably diluted the meaning of of durand and the rovers in bombay and the ifa in calcutta and the dcm had finished so it's a strange paradox because at one point the, the national team played in delhi it drew crowds, but the local tournament, the, the big draw, the Durant and, and the DCM, uh, you know, they, they declined. Yes, I'm sure you'll have a lot to share uh, as we go along in the show. And uh, I'll come to Vijay. Vijay uh, has been a veteran star. He's covered every sport, largely cricket and, of course, football. Uh, I saw one of your video shows that you've been doing lately, on, and you shared it on Twitter, and it was... Uh, dedicated to Ghaus Mohammed. Ghaus Mohammed, I know him as a commentator, but uh, you, you've dedicated a show to Ghaus Mohammed, who, was, who used to be a footballer. So, w w in short, what does Delhi football mean to you, Vijay? I think, uh, for me, Delhi football meant uh, hot summer days at the pres President's Estate, covering local football, Talkatora ground, Nehru Stadium, the, the outside ground, and then lovely winter afternoons at Ambedkar Stadium, um, like DCM and Durant. And then making great friends like Suresh Kaushik and Jaydeep Basu. We have spent so much time, uh, probably during the football season, we would spend more time with each other than with our family. You know, uh, uh, we, football was an obsession, uh, not cricket, mind you. And, and some wonderful friends from Old City. Uh, they were the ones custodians of... Uh, Delhi football, really, and uh, great promoters of the sport, and um, some very nice friends from Chitranjan Park. Uh, I mean, they still are friends. So I have some very fond memories of uh, Delhi football. Unfortunately, uh, it, it's just now memory. And uh, like I and Jaydeep would go back and talk about those great old days. So Suresh and Jaydeep, I remember very well meeting at these uh, local football matches. We will have to overturn this uh, unfortunate part 
or the memories will now have to come back. That's that's the idea of this discussion. So you guys have to say, you have to try educate uh, Football Delhi and see how to take this forward. Of course, we as a media also have a big role to play, and how we have played our roles, how are we going to play our roles? And I think for for a perspective from Joy, Joy has seen a lot of things. He's done everything from Arshaki coach to football broadcasting, cricket broadcasting, what not. And Joy. Uh, Let's say from an outsider, what does Delhi football team mean to you? You're a Calcutta. So two, three things. I again, and I'll go back to tropes that you know people things that you people have already spoken about. So it was always doing. But to that, I'll add one more tournament, which was very vital when we used to follow it, which was the Shubhrata Cup. So scores, you know, okay, this is the school that's coming up. Madhum Gram school is going forward in the Shubhrata Cup. The Northeast teams are coming. So for some reason, the Shubhrata. Cup used to be something that, from the outside, was a great interest. Because that was one tournament that always ended up being the finals ended up being played. The center of you know Delhi football, all the big clubs were from. A lot of baby leagues, grassroots development going on. Are we are we headed towards the right direction? Do you think there there is the right you know the synergy between the uh, football association of India and the state associations? Look, the truth of it is, and I say this uh, with with regard to anything, almost every Indian association, sporting association, is disastrously managed. Almost this thing. So. I think what football Delhi is now trying to do, trying to put together, is great. They are trying to make a genuine effort to do it. I mean, by and large, uh, our 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 officials do not do justice to the game we have, and uh, a peculiar concentration. See what has happening now, from through in television is that the best get richer and richer because there's so much more television. You basically get much more choices. So you can watch English Premier League, you can watch this, you can watch that, you can watch ISL, and you can watch Delhi football. So now, to become a television product or to make something that looks vibrant and good in Delhi, you are basically competing not with people who come to the ground, but people who are switching a channel. So the fundamental issue lies there, and I think that is the big thing because see, there is money in Delhi. One, if you go to see uh, strange things. Like there's this Delhi International Football League that happens, and it happens somewhere in Vasant Kunj. And if you ever go there, you will see the who's who of Delhi bringing their kids out there to play football at a particular age. Okay, which means that you are reaching influencers. You are reaching people. A lot of people who wouldn't ever switch on to a Delhi match or would not come to a ground in Delhi, they're coming to watch their kids play in Delhi in places in. So there is interest in football somewhere. There is interest in football. There is value in football. The question is whether we can convert that uh, that interest and value in football into something a bit more than that, and have some sort of a senior league that also starts making sense. And and those are very difficult things because finance is always a problem. And uh, you know, you when you're up against a national league, the AFF, see the way football is now done, it's one big league. So all the big money goes into big leagues, which are put out there. And slowly, all the other tournaments are pushed aside. So the challenge to try and do something that actually can stand between that and actually give you a product is a is a difficult thing. It's a very difficult thing. But I'm I'm glad at least football Delhi is standing. It's trying to make a brand for itself. It's trying to make a stand for the kind of things which are important. And I'm I'm really hopeful. That's all I can say. I'm just saying from a, from a media standpoint, uh, I'll have this question directed to my younger colleagues who are in this profession, Siddharth and Mihil. How would uh, you, let's say, Times of India and Indian Express uh, support Football Delhi in terms of, you know, competing with the bigger leagues? Because obviously, as Joy said, that you are actually competing in a space which is very tight, and people have the option to choose the big leagues and just ignore the small ones. So, what would a Times of India or an Indian Express or a Hindustan Times do to augment the work that Football Delhi is trying to do? Siddha, yeah. Uh, I think I think first off we need to draw a balance. Like like Joy mentioned, there's a great viewership, there's a great market for a product on 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 TV, which is 
definitely more attractive so so people younger people the older people younger editors are watching uh, live football from europe on tv so that's the demand that's got to be on the pages like it or not it's as how smart you are to 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 recognize the fact and and start with it at the same time the 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 uh, the sport at the local level should be good enough should be robust enough for it to fight for a place on our own pages we we take care i would i would like to believe that we give it its due space whatever whatever is happening a little or or a large uh on a regular basis on our pages there is this dilemma on on probably uh while while we we, we construct the pages that oh look probably local sport is not being represented enough on our pages but but it's also happened that for the uh, last uh, 15 odd years local sport not just football has totally vanished from from the sports pages it's just not football it's just not the times of any other place uh hockey doesn't uh, make a uh, uh, show ddca is is just marginally there uh, you know uh, it is for, for the wrong reasons uh yeah i'm talking about i'm talking about match reports i'm talking about scores i'm talking about uh, little player profiles over time last last uh, 20 years maybe it's a sign of the times maybe it's what what the reader wants or what the market wants mm-hmm. uh but at the same time we we probably fought to to give delhi football a little space i i i'd like to believe that we we uh, how do you, how does it work in express i mean Uh, I've seen that uh, you know you you do very critical stories, a lot of credibility in those stories. But how does it work in terms of coverage? Like uh, Siddharth said, that we like to give some space to uh, football, Delhi football, if there is at all something happen. How how does Express see this? I mean, how does uh, Express view Delhi football? No, oh, so uh, like you rightly said, uh, for us to cover a tournament, there has to be a tournament for that, and and. for the longest time we have seen in delhi there hasn't been a credible sustained league uh, unfortunately earlier this year when i met shaji at the nehru stadium it was in the early half early stage of the delhi league and because of the pandemic uh, it had to be stopped but uh, look i mean we we spoke about uh, the small local leagues competing with the giants uh, and it is as much as the media is responding i think i think it's also A, a space where we have to position our league i mean if you're going to compete with the giants you're always going to fail uh, i i'll always look at mizoram for an example because the mizo premier league they first targeted they went hyper local and after they went hyper local they got zonet as their sponsors to show that matches on tv to live stream them and that's how they built their brand and and that's how they probably got the entire national press's attention as well uh, Aizal obviously was a product of that. It wasn't uh, an an independent success story. So so entire ecosystem was there. And I think if we have a similar ecosystem in Delhi, where you have a robust local league, which which is played regularly, it shouldn't be a, a case where it's held once a, a one in one month of a year and then it vanishes. And after eleven months, you have to come again and look after it. It it can't be like that because uh, there has to be a narrative. uh i mean a narrative is a very important part of sports reporting i guess and unless we have that kind of a narrative and i think it's our responsibility as well to help build that narrative but for that you need a product which uh, which i guess is strong enough uh, to sustain that absolutely because there are marketing compulsions as well because uh, i can remember when my three years with ht every time we had our weekly meetings with uh, marketing delhi football never came up we they would always talk about the big products so i we didn't want to specifically mention the big products which you has already said but i mean it, it's a no brainer what are the big products and you know and what sells and what doesn't sell yet uh, when we have covered football uh, we have al- always done this, the wrong uh, stories which which does not talk about the leagues but we we talk about the stories which why the league is not happening the question is always do the the negative stories which negative maybe but maybe those negatives also have a positive effect down the line yeah. and uh, so my next question to suresh ji aapne jo jab aap khelna shuru kiya ab jab patrakar bane to kaisa what kind of coverage would you give delhi uh, uh, kind of delhi football the leagues and what do you see in jansatta now 
मैंने जब खेलना शुरू किया मैंने सेवेंटीज अर्ली सेवेंटीज में शुरू किया था तो उस समय दिल्ली फुटबॉल में चार डिवीजन हुआ करते थे ए बी सी डी और मैंने डी डिवीजन से शुरू किया था फिर ए डिवीजन में भी खेला न्यू दिल्ली रोज के लिए तो ये जो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन होता था कि ए से हमें बी में जाना है बी में सी में जाना है सी से फिर आगे बढ़ना है और ए में जाना है ए में जाने का मतलब ये होता था कि एक इंसेंटिव ये होता था कि दस टीमें हुआ करती थी उन दस टीमों को डीसीएम और दूर में खेलने का मौका मिलता था तो ये सबसे बड़ा इंसेंटिव था डीसी एक खिलाड़ी के लिए वो तो खिलाड़ी के लिए उस समय मैंने जब शुरू किया था तो उसके बाद थोड़ा सा दिल्ली फुटबॉल में गुटबाजी शुरू हो गई थी इसका नुकसान भी हुआ टीम टीमों को दो ग्रुप बन गए दोनों ग्रुप अपनी अलग लीग करवाते थे तो इसने जो एक डेढ़ दशक था उसमें ये नुकसान की भरपाई जाकर 96 के आसपास हुई जब सूद और नासिर अली ने दिल्ली फुटबॉल की कमान संभाली नहीं तो कोर्ट कचहरी की धक्के में फुटबॉलर की ऐसी की तैसी होती रही तो इस पे इसका इसका असर कवरेज में कैसे पड़ा कवरेज में तो ये पड़ा ना जब दो ग्रुप हो गए तो एक बार डीएसजे की मीटिंग में भी ये चर्चा मुद्दा उठा कि ये दो नौ ग्रुप के अपनी अलग अलग लीग करवा रहे हैं तो वहां भी हमने ये डिसाइड किया एग्जीक्यूटिव कमेटी की मीटिंग में कि ये दोनों ग्रुप कर रहे हैं और हमें बेवकूफ बना रहे हैं कौन पूरी लीग होती नहीं थी आधा जो छोड़ दिया बीच में कुछ तो हम क्यों कवरेज दें इनको तो हमने ये डिसाइड किया कि हमने दोनों ही टीमों की लीग लेनी बंद कर दी कि आप अपना पहले घर संभालो ठीक घर ठीक करो हमारे पास आओ और हम आपको कवरेज देंगे और अच्छी से अच्छी कवरेज देंगे और कवरेज कभी भी खराब पॉइंट नहीं रहा पचास के दशक से ही अच्छी कवरेज मिलती रही है दिल्ली फुटबॉल को दिल्ली फुटबॉल में पहले पचास के दशक में खेल का पेज एक हुआ करता था टीमों के पास अखबारों के पास उसमें डबल कॉलम तीन कॉलम में न्यूज छपती थी जी 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 ये यही नहीं फोटोग्राफ्स भी छपते थे और मैं आपको फिफ्टीज के दौर की बात बता रहा हूँ न्यू दिल्ली रोज उस समय की सबसे अच्छी टीम मानी गई थी उन्होंने पचास से साठ के बीच में छह बार लीग टाइटल जीता था एक बार लगातार चार साल भी जीता था तो उन चार सालों में न, के बाद एक नवभारत टाइम्स ने एक पीस निकाला था सुशील जैन उनके खेल संपादक थे उन्होंने एक पूरी टीम के ऊपर पीस निकाला था एक एक खिलाड़ी के फोटो के साथ उसका परिचय दिया था जैसे हमारा बाद में क्रिकेट वगैरह के खिलाड़ियों का जाता था ना प्रोफाइल उस तरह प्रोफाइल में खिलाड़ी की क्वालिटीज क्या थी खिलाड़ी कैसा खेलता था उसके क्या योगदान रहा तो इस तरह एक इतना अच्छा कवरेज मिलता था कि खिलाड़ी इंसेंटिव हो महसूस करता था उसका मनोबल बढ़ता था और उसके बाद जब मैंने पत्रकारिता शुरू की मैं डीसीए में भी खेला दूर में भी खेला तो हमारा इधरपुर से भी मुकाबला हुआ था आपकी कैलकाटा की टीम से खेले थे उसके खिलाफ भी खेला तब भी कोई कवरेज की कोई दिक्कत नहीं होती थी टीमें क्वालिफाई करती थी तो और सबको यह होता था कि अच्छी टक्कर देनी है हार भले जाओ और कई टीमें हमारी शिमला यंग यंग स्टार यंग मैन वगैरह कई बार सेकेंड राउंड में भी पहुंची लीग राउंड में पहुंची मतलब पहले नॉकआउट सिस्टम चलता था तो नॉकआउट में बड़ी बड़ी टीमों को टक्कर दे के मारा है तो पहला इंसेंटिव बहुत अच्छा तो था खिलाड़ी के लिए भी था इन सब चीजों के लिए खिलाड़ी को बड़ा नुकसान हुआ फुटबॉल के वजह से फुट गुटबाजी जब हुई तो खिलाड़ियों के लिए यह हुआ कि कुछ भी छपना बंद हो गया छपने बंद होने का मतलब यह हुआ कि आपकी अखबार में कोई न्यूज नहीं आएगी कोई भी खिलाड़ी यही चाहता है कि मुझे मैं खेल रहा हूं अपना योगदान दे रहा हूं मेरी प्रशंसा हो मैंने गोल किया है तो उसका कुछ मेरी कटिंग बने क्लिपिंग बने वो क्लिपिंग के कितने मायने हुए करते थे वो आज सबको पता लगता है क्योंकि यूनिवर्सिटी में एडमिशन 
के लिए भी वो क्लिपिंग काम आ जाती थी आप स्टेट रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हो स्टेट की टीम छपती थी तो आपको ये होता था कि ये देखो मेरा स्टेट में नाम आया है यही नहीं नौकरी स्किल में उसका कितने मायने रहते थे ये स्टेट बैंक पंजाब नेशनल बैंक दिल्ली ऑडिट और बैंक डीडीए ये कई टीमें हैं जो सिर्फ इनके खिलाड़ी अपनी लीग के परफॉर्मेंस पे ही इनको नौकरी मिली और इन्होंने अच्छा खेल दिखाया अच्छे ऊंचाइयां पाई लेकिन अब सब अब तो मुझे दुख होता है एक मीडिया कर्मी के नाते में एक खिलाड़ी के नाते में कि जब मुझे देखता हूँ कि अखबार में लोकल फुटबॉल के लिए कोई जगह नहीं है Uh, Jaidinda, you've been with HD. I mean, during the good days of Delhi football, uh, Suresh said that there would be double column stories with photographs. I mean, how would uh, an English paper like HD treat the Delhi soccer in the good days? I'm saying. See, in the good, there is nothing. So, it was called good day or bad day. The, the, if the if the local football was good, if the, there was success, people were ready to publish it. See what. Vijay, my, मतलब my two oldest friends Vijay and Suresh, they are talking about is right. There used to be a very good coverage. Very good coverage used to be because there was good football. A newspaper is not here to promote anything. Newspaper is 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 basically what the report. The report success. When the teams were doing well, when the lo- local teams had players, local teams had players who were playing for different. Teams in Calcutta and Salgaonkar, they were regularly supplying players to us. What what we are talking today is what why we have ga- gathered today. We have gathered today because it is Sunil Chhatri's uh, birthday, isn't it, Somitra? And yes. he is a he is a he and he is an out and out local player. He is a Delhi player. He has he has become a become a national hero today from Delhi. And it was in. 98 to 1998 to 2001, 2002. This period, he he really flourished into football, and then went over to Calcutta to bigger teams, which is fine. So those days, football was good. So the coverage was also good. I I won't straight away uh, straight away blame the newspapers. And there was another thing, which over the years, I am also doing uh, this. Journalism now for close to 40 years, which I've realized that in 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 journalism has changed. So with you also know it has changed. A lot of international events have come up. A lot of international things have come up. The success of the Indians at the international level, whether it is in cricket or in shooting or in or in or in boxing or in wrestling or whatever it is, it has it has become more and more. So newspapers have started giving more spaces to them. So I don't blame newspapers if 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 uh, in the Sun Times or Times of India or Indian Express are not giving enough 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 uh, spaces to local football. I don't blame them. The local football will have to come come up to that standard, and for that, I would say, of course, the league, the league, the football, the league for which we are here, all of us, thanks to football, the league, all of us have uh, met here today. Are doing a doing a Somitra. They are doing a reasonably good job at the moment. But what we have to understand to to promote what do we call it promote promote local football is not newspapers' jobs. It's the news. It's the job of the job of the local association and the nas- national association. And I am sorry to say the national association is not doing its job. The national association has almost become a privatized body. Well, I don't want to get into that uh, any any further. Whatever I have said is, I think, is enough. And they have they have absolutely no concern about what local state 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 associations are doing. I'd like to add. Uh, I'd like to add. I'd yeah, like please. to add to this. Sorry. Yes, please. Yeah. See, uh, it's uh, Sunil Chetri's birthday today, and 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 hats off to a Priyala team. But we should understand that. Chetri is is a star not because of Delhi's football but in spite of it. You would be hard pressed to find a an international player before Chetri from Delhi. Jedi would remember, I'm sure, there's a boy called Gurinder Singh who played who played for a young man. Who, who he was the last player from Delhi who, who, who played before Sunil Chetri. You know, so the thing is that you have to get your local uh, league and your system back in order for. For the data ecosystem to to build. Siddharth, I just wanted to. I was coming to that only. 
so it, as as coming to somitro's somitro's uh, question so it is it is not a job of the newspaper or the media right. media is there to report and to report the success media always goes for the success whether you blame them or not that's a different issue altogether but television or newspapers print media or the websites they would like to like to report those who succeed not but the failures not the failures but, but good stories good stories not the failures that's all isn't it absolutely so so, so it is the job of the association and job of the again i am saying it is the job of the national association the national association is not i am not talking about delhi they are not concerned about any state association you, you and whether state association are doing good or bad and most of them are doing nothing uh, but nobody pulls them up what i mean to say nobody pulls them up so it it, it and uh, the days suration uh, uh, suration uh, uh, we are talking about uh vijay talking about those were great days those were days when delhi players were playing all over the country we wished uh, vijay will know wished vijay and suresh know all of them uh, personally wished was bsf captain shankar mukherji and devraj devraj katyal were playing for great uh, uh, surinder kumar was playing for moment sporting i can keep on naming players who have played all over the country at that so that the, the they, they were being reported by the newspapers Newspapers Absolutely. were reported. Basically, the... Adidas, what you are saying, there, there, there are no icons, there are no heroes to talk about, right? Not and only the... heroes. I am talking about the, the lack of organized uh, football. Yes, I the guess that, the, for yeah. football, for the, uh, I have nothing against uh, football. Delhi must be doing it, doing it, doing, doing a good job and trying their best, despite their financial constraint, organizational constraint. They have a lot of problems. I understand. I am being very. but uh, doing this for 40 years i know how much uh, the or organizers try hard and still they fail because of so many other reasons but the thing is that the, and again somitra i am telling you it is the 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 exit of durand and dcm has hit delhi football very bad icons for two months in a in a year you watch icons in play in front of you we have all learned football because of those two tournaments now delhi boys have nothing in front of them and what joy is talking about is of course there are a lot of lot of uh, what i say so much a lot of academies are coming up good boys are coming up and has he said that 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 who's and who's of the lift of people of delhi are coming to their children are coming to football but that is also in danger at the moment this in the last four months 80 academies have stopped functioning 880 and they are not football academies alone there are other sports also there must be at least 20 football academies which has stopped you ask saji you, you you will know about it but nobody has come forward to rescue them and if you want to play academy football at the national level which is under 15 under 13 see the licensing criteria there are there are there are the criteria means you might have to might have to spend at least 20 to 30000 as operational cost per match good point in fact uh, how think, many uh, academies how many academies in this city on this country can spend 20000 rupees per match as operational cost you have to stand by two 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 uh, ambulances how many academies can do it you tell me the Jodhika, system, uh, just just as i'll stop you here i will take this question to joy joy when the indian team was producing that under 17 score what kind of experience did you have in in terms of scouting talent and putting a, the best team together i mean there were academies and what joydeep just said that you know they're not sustainable but did you find any what, how what was your picture like can you please tell us that you know what was the inside story you were you were working with avya sepi and you know uh, what were the problems so yeah technically we were not directly involved with the scouting of the players and all but we because we were intimately involved in that project for 3 years yeah, yeah, yeah. we knew quite a bit look the thing is actually for that under 17 world cup they tried their best to find as many players as possible they had that standard scouting thing that if a player is scouted two times he's reported two times they try and bring him they did all that with a very select group of people they tried their best to do it but the truth is it's a short term solution what they tried to do and they had to because you have 3 years to produce try and produce players playing against world cup kind of teams get 30 players together try and train them as much as you can keep adding a few players dropping players as go and you go on they did their best with that but 
that is never a long term solution it does it works as a it's a stop gap solution ki yaar kisi ek team khada karna and it might have worked the truth is that if ghana as a fourth team had not fallen in our draw and we had got one of those and the team that came from oceania we might even have won a match but it was a stop gap solution at the best of time it was a very good stop gap solution but it was a stop gap solution see the basic problem lies in the fact that the kind of licensing per se is a very good idea why because you put some sort of control and system into place okay you try and make sure that you know people are not stealing money the accounts are in order so licensing is a concept is a great concept okay but it's a concept that two things have one is it is a good concept in developed football countries where you have that kind of money to do the kind of licensing at every level you know and it because it costs money you are saying your coach must have this kind of a license okay you may need to have this much of space you need to have this kind of nutrition you need to have this many camps these things often in india at the ground level are extremely extremely difficult to get so that's what i'm saying that sometimes you it is not a bad thing to move towards licensing but if you enforce licensing right now for example even before covid i mean in covid it has become impossible as jodita will tell you that they have all stopped but even before covid the kind of rules are in place who can do it if you are a really big builder who is also wanting to put a you know team on the side you have a passion for football you say okay liverpool academy jo karta hai main wahi karunga bahut achhi baat hai but aise to do teen academy ban sakte hai na 10 ban sakte hai so nahi ban sakte hazar nahi ban sakte and that is the essential issue that we have not somehow managed to create a sustainable system of smaller academies where you have some amount of control in it so that the the parents are not being cheated the kids are not being cheated so there's some amount of control but not so much control or we are not so strict that tomorrow as jadit does as two ambulances where are teams going to get that here so there has to be somewhere a certain amount of pragmatism okay and that pragmatism is not always there and i'll tell you why it's not it's because it's very difficult to focus on 20 things today like even what we are looking at about the aff and all this they are looking at two three things they are looking at saying okay we are going to look after uh, we are going to try and go for big international tournaments like the and women's under 17 world cup uh, the maybe the asia cup for women maybe some other the men's asia cup in time to come and we are going to try and look at making one big league but they don't even have the bandwidth to start looking at things like this which is the academy level the ground level of sport unfortunately that bandwidth is right now you know in very short supply and that's the truth vijay which uh, you played a little bit of football you've covered a lot of football uh, i think when you know, when we when we were growing up we all wanted to work for hindu because uh, you know we would get assignments to go and cover each and everything i mean uh, given that fact that you know the hindu had an edition in delhi Uh, how did uh, hindu cover delhi football i mean you heard jodip the you heard uh, 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 suresh and uh, would you would you i'm sure you would have given double spread stories with photographs even jodip da would read the hindu for local coverage yes that's what i said yeah you come with me and he would encourage me a lot so let me tell you one thing mm, i will blame the local media because why do you need a marketing man to go and tell you to cover match at ambedkar stadium i mean you can just walk across right and uh, and it means a lot for a footballer if he plays a game and if he doesn't find his name next day in the newspaper it's very disheartening even you can give two paragraphs if you see newspapers today you you see newspapers like deccan herald and lot of malayalam newspapers which i don't get to understand but i i know they give lot of importance to to local uh, sport and they sell so it is it is our responsibility and local sport has just vanished it is not just football it is so many so many events and in delhi i know for sure that there was a, there is a gentleman called nk bhatia he used hmm. to visit newspaper offices and uh, and end up disappointed next day because they wouldn't have carried the results basic results right your job is to write your job is to cover local event you have every right to you know glorify man u or chelsea or whatever but what about these local footballers when would they get into print when would they be motivated so 
Suresh, Jansatta used to have half a page, half page coverage of local football. And, and we have ended up, even Jaydeep Da, our uh, uh, semi-final reports and final reports would be the first lead of the local newspaper. Forget the Hindu or the Hindustan, a lot of newspapers. So we are primarily to blame for the decline because we have contributed it by ignoring local football. We are very happy to write about the association, but not about the players. So this trend is very uh, disturbing. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of reasons. Death of clubs, vanishing football grounds. It can be a different debate uh, uh, why football has suffered in Delhi. And also the fact that uh, probably there are no heroes left. There is just one Sunil Chetri. And uh, I don't know when he played local football. I don't remember last. So, if he comes and plays for a local club, his club, and uh, and that will lift the morale of the league and, and the fellow uh, players and the other clubs. So, uh, it is a collective failure and I am also part of it, definitely. And you, you uh, I was so happy uh, uh, Joy talked about Shubroto. You know, Joy, the last Shubroto Cup went uncovered. Mm. It was not. It finished. The whole tournament finished and there was no coverage in the local tournament. So, just see the de de degeneration of football coverage. Football coverage. I and Joydeep, we have spent so many winters at the Ambedkar ground. And we would come back, even if we had to write just three paras, fine. But, 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 but Vijay. Meet and, and, and yeah. see young players. Yes. So all that has vanished. I, I, I want to say something, Vijay. Let me debate this point. You know, the compulsions for media people like us, especially, you know, corporate backed brands like Times or HTN Express, also Hindu. There are marketing compulsions. You're fighting for space. You're fighting for space. And obviously, you know, you say that, yes, I'm responsible for not covering. But what can you cover? My question is, what is it that you're going to cover in Delhi football today? Whenever it was happening. I'm not saying now there is, it is not happening. Forget COVID. Last couple of years, local football is not happening because there is so much of infighting. There is so there is there are no funds to conduct tournaments. Shambles. So uh, it is it's it's a recent phenomena. But the de decline has happened over a period of time. It's happened over a period of time. So I'm not saying that you, it cannot be written about two paragraphs. Can any day can any newspaper can accommodate? I'm sorry. Uh, I've also spent so much time in journalism. But two paragraphs you can always accommodate. I want a younger younger person to debate uh, Vijay's uh, comment that you can always give two paragraphs. I want Mir first and then Siddharth. Suresh, may I have your pass? No, of course. And, and I think, uh, I mean, so, so two paragraphs or one paragraph or 2000 words, it doesn't matter if it's a good story, it merits a space in the newspaper. So that is, I think, uh, I think all of us would agree agree in that. So as long as our story is here, uh, see, I think there are a couple of things. Uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of lot of you here have been in Delhi all your life. So perhaps you would be able to analyze it better. But from an outsider's perspective, what I have noticed in the last five years that a reason that has contributed to uh, very little coverage to Delhi football is also the fact that a lot of our colleagues, a lot of the fellow reporters, are not from Delhi. And hence feign ignorance. There is there is a complete disconnect between what is a journalist's duty to lo report local football and what is actually happening at ground level. So, uh, for example, when I was in Bombay, I started out as a cub reporter over here. I used to be at say school football matches from seven in the morning, and it's not just me. The competition was so crazy that Kunal Mazgaukar, who was with the Times of India back then and now is the media manager for Bangalore FC, because he was so good at it, my editor used to push me to ensure that I was at the ground at 7 a.m. And there was a healthy rivalry there. And it used to then build from there. So we started at Mumbai School Sport Association tournament, especially football. Then that graduated to MDFA League, the Mumbai League. From Mumbai League, then we started covering the I-League, NFL and those matches and because we were from a city we could identify with a particular club from a particular area we used to go all out and report about it when i moved to delhi the first thing i noticed uh, was there was very little school football at least i i could not find school football as much 
but the bigger part of the problem i i thought was a lot of us just come here to work and there is not much investment beyond it we do our regular working hours we try to do stories what you i mean a lot of us i mean do very good stories it's not like we don't do stories but it's just that we have not invested as much as as much time as we can in delhi football siddharth i mean uh, yeah you are one newspaper where space is a premium you know yes. very and we, uh, very we work in we work in an era where uh, test matches scoreboards go as briefs not just us but everywhere so we we've, we've come to this pass you know where the first thing we were taught like we also would remember that <coughs> carry the scoreboards in full so a test match even if zimbabwe was playing uh, bangladesh i don't think they had uh, test status at the same time but the scoreboard should have gone in full now we are working in a time where a test match even if if australia is is probably playing pakistan some of west indies it's going as a brief so that at some level is is probably unacceptable to a lot of things but that is how it has become we grew up reading the sports star we all we all or it was a holy grail of, of of local domestic sport but today it sustains itself on 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 writing about uh, european stars that's how it has become you know and the decline of of local local football local uh, local coverage in delhi has coincided with the rise of live uh, television from europe the kids have gotten younger they want to watch that and if if it becomes policy in the newspaper how do you fight that the the struggle every day is to find a balance between uh, your coverage and your love and your passion for something which is so so beautiful and and glamorous on on television messi And, and Ronaldo and their uh, their battles, plus what's happening back home, and nothing much is happening back home. Absolutely, in fact, uh, in our edit meetings, the editor uh, would say that carry uh, eight column picture of of Ronaldo's curling free kick. Imagine. So and we have to find it. Have, yeah, so we have to do it, right? Yeah. Satish, uh, Suresh, you were saying something. Tell me. No, I was saying that. कि हम इंग्लिश प्रीमियर लीग छापते हैं वो सब कुछ छाप रहे हैं तो हमें इस बात में भी एआईएफ को और लोकल फुटबॉल एसोसिएशन को इसका सर्वे करना चाहिए कि ये हम में जबरदस्ती तो नहीं थोपा जा रहा हम पर ये कितने लोग उसको पढ़ना चाहते हैं कितने लोग उसको लाइक करते हैं कोई कितने लोग ऐसे हैं जो दिल्ली फुटबॉल को अखबार में छपते नहीं देखना चाहते ये चीजें सब सर्वस में निकल के सामने आनी चाहिए और तभी हमको एक डेलीगेशन बना के खेल संपादकों से भी मिलना चाहिए एसोसिएशन वालों को आपको आपको मैं एक चीज बताना चाहता हूँ ये, ये, ये। उनकी ड्यूटी है ये कि ठीक है जो मर्जी छापने के लिए वो स्वतंत्र हैं लेकिन हम उनकी समाज के प्रति कुछ जिम्मेदारियां हैं लोकल लोगों को सपोर्ट करना उनका दायित्व बनता है हमें उनको एहसास कराना चाहिए चुपचाप नहीं बैठना चाहिए मेरा ये मुझे, मुझे मुझे जब मैं मैं एच में काम करता था एवरी फ्राइडे हमारा एक रिव्यू मीटिंग होता था जहाँ पे मार्केटिंग वालों आते थे ओ देश टू डू लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च जो आप रिसर्च कह रहे हैं उसमें उनका कभी वो हमेशा फुटबॉल यूरोपियन फुटबॉल और इसके आई इसके बारे बात करते थे और दिल्ली फुटबॉल का कभी बात ही नहीं किया और देर इज अ फीलिंग माई क्वेश्चन टू जयदीप दा that you know having an english newspaper in your house is like a status symbol like having a good mobile phone or wearing a nice wrist watch it doesn't matter what is the content inside that newspaper jodhidha would you like to comment on this this is something which out of my subject actually i don't go to readers house and ask them what what to wear no it has, no, no. Out. it has come out from surveys Then you know, lot of houses have two newspapers, Times of India and HT, but nobody okay. reads them. <laughs> That's a overall over. But uh, how, Sumitra? So how does it uh, come down to sports and football in that way? I mean, no, no. why do you, why do you want to I ask me such questions? Even if I let's say put two paragraphs of Delhi football, will it at all help lift the image of the game in the state? That is my question. Of course, it will. Uh, it will help. I think it will help. At least a couple of paragraphs will help because people who matter will read it. Not every every story is read by all all the people. If there is a story on corporation, two paragraph on South Delhi corporation, 
those who are interested in South Delhi Corporation will definitely read it. So if you give two paragraphs on local football, a eh, result so and so with so and so and so and so with the scorers and you know, whether a referee was mildly beaten up at before the halftime or no. <laughs> so whatever, at least people will read it. Those who, those who uh, matter, they read it. Jai See, I, 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 I will tell you one thing. Uh, but yeah, but, but <laughs> one of the referees, he without telling, telling the, uh, without telling, without informing his office, I don't want to name him from the uh, from the from the office. He went on to supervise the Delhi League in Delhi University ground. Okay, and uh, there was some problem, and he was quite badly beaten up by the <laughs> by the by the players and the officials for whatever. And I was in HT. He knew that uh, that I, in, if anybody doesn't report, at least I will report. He knew, so he called me up. He said, uh, Dada, I, uh, you know what? I said, yeah, I know what happened at the university ground too. He says, please don't report it. He says, why? I said, why? You have been, it should be brought, people should be brought to book, the, those who have written you up. He says, no, no, I went went without my office permission. <laughs> so if it is get published, so my officers, <laughs> officers will be upset that I I, I went to, I, I said, I'm going to drink tea. I'm going to drink tea. So that means what? These people read. That would have, people read. And those who matter will read. So it will help Somitra to an extent. No, the people who are doing it. I Absolutely. think so. Yeah. Joy, my question to you. Yes, uh, you wanted to say something, Joy. Please go ahead. Yeah, so what I want to say is that I think perhaps, and I am being very honest with you here, I believe that, you know, what's happening in the world today is very interesting. It's in a lot of ways because of the internet and the pandemic is just pushing it further. Is there's a stay, saying which works even very big in sport. It says that the middle is dead. What is happening is that either you have these huge mega big events, you know, like EPL, like, you know, European leagues, like, you know, Champions League, World Cup, big mega events, or I, see, I even take the ISL as a really big rich event. And you basically have hyper local smaller events that work. The problem is if you're trying to be somewhere in between, where which means that you still want to rely on television revenue to make yourself survive. You're dead because arts television revenue of Milegani. You're not going to get television re revenue for a mediocre product. So what you have to do then is say that I cannot what I cannot try and be is a smaller ISL. It won't work. I will never make the money. And my I have a simple belief. If you don't make enough money, it is you can't give your daughter's wedding every year that saying ki main jitna ghar mein aur son's wedding every year mein jitna paisa hai kharcha karke is saal nikal deta hu it doesn't work so it's it's got to make financial sense so what i'm saying is one plus is that today technology has allowed you to cover games much cheaper you know today what used to cost 3 lakhs a day to cover games say of football you can actually do it with 50 60000 rupees with the right cameras and remote cameras and smaller crews go hyper not local, but go small and don't try and be a small ISL. Celebrate small places. Don't, you probably will not be written about in Times of India and in the next place. Doesn't matter. Have specialist blog. Target the schools that you want to target. Target kids of that age saying that you guys, you have two school players in every team. Go after that audience of young kids who are enamored by the Ronaldos of the world, but want to play football. And play football, they just don't watch football, they go and do it. My thing is that if you try and revive Delhi football as Delhi football was, that will never happen. You can never turn back the clock. And the truth of it is that the revenue numbers will never work. If I, if somebody comes to me and says, okay, Joy, cover the league, cover the Delhi football league. And I'll turn around and say, okay, was well, six months of Delhi football league. The cost of putting it on television is over this year is about 90 lakhs. Let's give a conservative. Where is 90 lakhs going to come? Is six months of coverage going to give you 90 lakhs worth of revenue? It's not going to give. So I'm saying, go small, go YouTube, have bloggers writing about it, have school bloggers writing about it. Go and attack the schools, go and make it fashionable to play in this Delhi league in top schools in Delhi. Why top schools? I'm not saying top schools because it helps. I'm saying even a Salwan public school, for example, is a top sporting school in Delhi. Go there, play there, get their players playing in the league, make sure their players are playing, let their parents are watching, reach out to that audience and try and make your product work there. Try and make your product go vibrant there. 
because trying to do a smaller league uh, trying to do a delhi league in the same model as say the calcutta league is held or it's not going to happen that way now you have to reinvent and you have to look at what your advantages are that's all vijay you agree right. with what joy said yeah definitely i mean uh, joy has um, he 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 has a vision so you know, he's he's been he's been associated with big events organizing big events so this i think is a very wonderful idea it should be taken forward by by the local association and uh, like he says uh, target mm, uh, have small targets uh, you should dream big yes but uh, to dream big you have to first uh, you know sleep peacefully take, take, so take baby steps uh, so here i think uh, it's it's a good idea and you can get uh, newspapers to come and write about school football which i i don't think i don't remember in delhi school football has been written extensively at any point in in my career i, I don't remember uh, except for maybe the subroto school football uh, whenever they would come otherwise vijay 90s mein limka football tournament hua tha wo theek tha 15 saal chala wo ya theek hai theek hai usko isliye band kar diya gaya usme achhi publicity di jati thi aur ye sunil chetri aur byching bhutia सुब्रोटो प्लेटफॉर्म में आने से पहले उसमें खेले थे वहां से लाइमलाइट में आए थे वो 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 टूर्नामेंट इसलिए बंद कर दिया गया कि जो उसको करवाते थे लिमका के प्रयोजक उन्होंने कहा कि ये फुटबॉल जो है वो कैलकाटा का गढ़ है तो फुटबॉल यहाँ से हटाओ बंद करो और चौदह साल के बाद अच्छा वाला टूर्नामेंट बंद कर दिया गया एंड वी which have the uh, school reports you know uh, hc has this entire uh, football school right. football things supplement That's very popular we have yeah, very popular we have the ni which, which, which carries sports which one so the thing which? is that we used to have the zakir husain uh, 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 inter college football which is so big the thing is that all these tournaments have stopped they 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 dwindled they diminished it's not that we we, we totally so, ignored so, them so so, 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 so i think it's टूर्नामेंटरेज so like limka football yes there have been various tournaments at various points but the fact remains that today football uh, uh, when you say when you talk about these tournaments they are all, they are not <clears throat> actually competitive tournaments they are five aside seven aside you know i don't know six aside whatever so i am when i say inter school i say the tournaments which were used to be held in the 70s and 80s for government schools and private schools they would come and play against each other they were school teams students of those particular schools would play so uh, and and there was good fun there were a lot of play- players who came out of those tournaments uh, but uh, it's a fact football is has become a forgotten sport in delhi and there are many reasons uh, if i'm sure if we can collectively support the local association by writing about the sport i'm sure sponsors will also come in and uh, money will come in and maybe football will bloom in delhi jyotib i have a question uh, i mean what yeah. uh, uh, what uh, vijay said don't you think uh, the national federation has a role here to develop the game in states like the bcci does it gives state associations a large share of whatever it earns for development of the game so instead of you know they get sufficient money from their sponsors for whatever good reasons But don't you think the portion of it should come to the state association so that they can develop school sports and then become standalone products? Ah, uh, maybe you are right, uh, Somitra. But at the same time, the All India Football Federation doesn't make as much money as the BCCI makes. No, it doesn't. The kind kind of money this yeah. uh, all AFF makes uh, that is perhaps uh, enough to run their own show. I will uh, uh, maybe some money they can always give. They can always give some money, a little bit. but i don't expect them to give a lot of money because they don't have that much of money so i don't blame on blame them on that certainly but uh, they can make they can keep it more if they can be more vigilant about vigilant about these state associations they, as far as i know i can i can keep say you very 
that now the federation the main complaint is of the federation is the federation officials have absolutely no concern about this state association whether they are doing the right thing or the wrong thing and mostly they are not doing anything are they running uh, the federation at all they, huh? are they running the federation see they they are they are running the federations i i see but they should be as i said more vigilant about about uh, the 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 state association but again somitra i will say what what joy has said is very right that at least you organize yourself properly do small small things which will which will help to uh, this i am giving you a very small example in 90s in the 90s in the late 90s there used to be a very very good small school tournament its name was hind kishore football tournament that used to be run by hindustan football club of delhi which is being run by dk dk boss all of you know and in that tournament i remember a young boy 12 or 13 year old boy for two years in a row he was at just the best player shuresh father keval sahab was one of the one of the judges i was perhaps one year i was the judge surinder bhai former delhi player was of the judge and for two or three years in a row he was at just the best player his name was sunil chetri he was he at that time he was 12 or 13 year old i remember so they see the tournament used to be organized in a proper manner so i only remember sunil but a lot of other players have come in so it is certainly a duty of the national association to an to an to an extent but i don't think somitro they have so much of money to spend on state association no, I, I, and, I mean, and and secondly what what uh, joy said is also right that whatever little you have you try to organize uh, yourself with that and try to extract the best out of that that is also yeah, a because, uh, uh, i think jodip that joy is facing the heat trying to promote of uh, volleyball league when you have a surfeit of other major leagues joy would you like to comment here no oh, it's a simple thing you're right see the point is whenever you're doing coverage today in india cricket is a 600 pound gorilla so that takes up 80% 90% of world money then when you take football even there football the isl the big leagues who can spend money take away the rest of the money calcutta football takes away money so that's the thing promoting anything small in my experience the way to look at it is to turn down and say what is the greatest advantage that you have like everything every situation what the disadvantages it has is also an advantage so the advantage today you have is right now things are in a shambles so you can take hard decisions you can turn around and say ki boss okay i'm going to make it a rule saying that i'm going to have two school kids playing in every match i'm going to promote them i'm going to try and get that support of kids and their parents who today are you know watching messi and ronaldo and wanting to get into football i know it because there's a thriving subculture in gurgaon for example where i stay which is about kids playing football they're crazy about football in big cities and that's a tragedy of it in a time like this actually if you look at it uh football is a bigger sport in social status of delhi would be a bigger sport in a delhi and a mumbai than cricket is it may be international football they are following but football is a bigger sport you actually the real cricket is big if you go slightly further down i'm saying football football exists there it has a certain amount of cachet can we take advantage of that and that's that's all i believe that no, you're no, no, right i mean you have to catch them young at some stage uh, vijay you that's i, I was reading one of your stories uh, uh, you mentioned the last time uh, mohan bagan and east bengal clashed I think you mentioned Durant probably, or the same. It was in 2004 or 2005. 2004. 2004. Oh. 2004. So, like you know, you 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 mentioned the hot spots like Indian Park, where there's a large uh, section of refugees which has come from East Pakistan have settled there. But uh, uh, nostalgia is one part, uh, but reality is a different. So today we are facing real situations. Do you think uh, if the Durant uh, were to come back to delhi i mean duran happened in calcutta we all know that do you think it will uh, bring the interest back among football lovers in uh, delhi i think that you will have to have if you get the big clubs to come and play it, the interest will definitely come back uh, uh, when did last uh, these calcutta giants play in delhi or when did the last clash I don't remember. Jaydeep would know best. Two thousand four, two thousand five. We used to wait. 
uh, we used to wait. I mean, if you know, we would have reeled off uh, all these figures. Uh, he, he knows best. But uh, if you get to see these iconic clubs, if you get to see these iconic players at the Ambedkar Stadium, which to me is the best football stadium in the country, it gives you such beautiful view. You can hear what the players are telling each other. You know what they're shouting. So, Gali, huh? Gali, I've been listening. Yes, Gali, bhi, Gali, bhi. yes. My or Jay, Jay, will know best. Guys, some of the Gali. So, you, if you, you can, you, people will come to watch. And we have seen packed stadiums. It is not even during times when the, we were getting to see foreign football on television. We have had uh, uh, good audience at the Ambedkar Stadium. And even at times when there was a good cricket match going on, Ranji Trophy match at the Kotla, you would have more far, far more people, spectators at the Ambedkar Stadium. So you will have to give them good quality football to watch. Uh, please don't compare this football with, with uh, foreign football because then somebody can always turn and say uh, your writing also should be compared with the international football writing. <laughs> we we lack. So it is. It is. Let us accept. that there is a place for local football there is a place for domestic football we have to we have to learn to love it and nurture it like we used to do at the beginning of our of our careers um uh, i mean i i won't i won't say more than this but no more, i understand, if, understand. If there is a tournament i would love to go and cover it yes suresh ji aapne jab shuruaat ki aapne old delhi ki baat ki i mean uh, there was a lot of players who came from old delhi अभी क्या सिनेरियो कैसा है कि आल्सो दिस क्वेश्चन टू बोथ सुरेश जी एंड जयदीप दा दैट व्हाट इज द सीन लाइक इन ओल्ड दिल्ली डू यू थिंक दे दोस गाइस स्टिल लव टू प्ले फुटबॉल ओल्ड दिल्ली का प्रॉब्लम ये हो गया यंग मैन को पहले बंधु मियां चलाते थे फिर उनके बेटे आए जमाल फिर उनके बेटे कमाल अब कमाल की भी डेथ हो गई है तो धीरे धीरे इसके साथ अब की सेवेंटीज की यंग मैन और आज के यंग मैन में बहुत फर्क हो गया वो डिक्लाइन होता चला गया यंग मैन के साथ मुगल्स का भी ऐसा ही हाल हुआ मुगल्स के भी जो ऑफिशियल्स थे वो अलग होते गए और मुगल्स भी डाउन हो गई यंग स्टार्स के कुछ लोग थे उसमें थोड़ा सा नई दिल्ली के भी लोग थे वो भी डिक्लाइन होके डिवीजन बी डिवीजन में चली गई मून लाइट थी मून लाइट अब किसी को बेच दी गई है मूनलाइट भी बेच दी गई है तो इस तरह अब वो उतना इंटरेस्ट भी नहीं रहा पहले ये था कि मोहम्मद स्पोर्टिंग आती थी उसके साथ मुस्लिम क्राउड आ जाता था इसी तरह यंग मैन वगैरह ये खेलती थी जब तो मुस्लिम क्राउड आ जाता था सपोर्ट के लिए वो सब अब बंद हो गया इसी तरह पंजाब की डी सी की बात करें अगर हम तो पंजाब की टीमें आती थी पंजाब बंगाल क्लैश होता था अब वो पंजाब वाले भी सरदार लोग आने बंद हो गए पंजाब की टीमें खत्म हो गई पंजाब पुलिस पी एस सी भी जे सी टी तो हर तरह अब आप किसी क्राउड को ला नहीं सकते जबरदस्ती क्राउड भी अब बड़ा फैक्टर बन गया कि आप कितना भी अच्छा कर लीजिए ये सुनिश्चित गारंटी नहीं है आपकी कि आप क्राउड को ले आओगे ग्राउंड में Mihir, uh, you're you're the perhaps the youngest in this panel. So uh, I I have a question. Uh, you heard Joy, uh, you heard Jodeep, you heard Vijay, and they said that we again need to take baby steps to regain that lost glamour of football in Delhi. Uh, how how would you see this? Do you think uh, there's a way that uh, Delhi football can leverage the digital uh, generation? You know the, the the technology that is available. and come good and uh, maybe in have a long term vision and maybe in 10 years time uh, make a mark yeah of course i mean uh, that is uh, that is that is the easiest and perhaps the first step that they should take i mean in the sense if you look at uh, the best example in this case would be the goal that dalima chibur scored i think that one video did more for women's football than anyone has ever done so uh the beauty of uh, uh social media is i think that's also a downside but if you can kind of do good things with it you throw interesting bit of morsels to the crowd to the people you do that in a sustained way constantly you get them interested in your product and then 
of course the challenge for you is to bring them to the stadium it's very easy for people to just sit in their living rooms and watch that video and say ki baat ya goal mara but the challenge is to get those people to the ground and that is something that only the people who are in charge of the sport can do media can help but only if the product is good like uh, joy said you go hyper local i mean it is you can you can use all the jargons we can use all the uh, you know sexy bits about social media and all but if you don't let people play and and people shouldn't be struggling to play i shouldn't be living in mayur bihar and to for a good football match i shouldn't be traveling to vasant kunj or dwarka there should be a place for me in mayur bihar or akshardham to play a good space similarly we shouldn't get too lost in fancy bits uh, like vijay sir said uh, you have ambedkar stadium which is a very good football stadium a very very nice cozy place to go and watch football so then you don't need the jazz of a jl and to hold a local football match you hold it in ambedkar uh, you need a basic ground that's it वैसे भी accept it or not i mean people are not coming to watch matches so then why not use a stadium which is good and intimate uh, to to use it we can use twitter we can use instagram but if you don't have that bit sorted then aap kitna bhi twitter instagram kar lo aapke followers badhenge uh, but that will be virtual it won't be a real thing right siddharth uh, what is yeah. yes please sorry sorry i'd like to i'd like to add on this the fact that the ambedkar has always been the the epicenter of of of, of football uh, kaushik sir also said ki jo muslim hai wall city ke wo nahi aate but that's also the sign of times that So the young boys from the Wall City don't venture out into this part of the of the town anymore. It's it's how what's what's been happening all these days. Also, the thing is that uh, we should. Uh, I probably uh, the thing is that they have two metro stations. The connectivity is is, is brilliant. In in the last fifteen years, I would I would I would mark out three three events where the crowds came to to the Ambedkar. It was probably the uh, The '97 uh, Durand Cup when FC Kochi was playing, all the all the South Indians living in Arkepuram and, and Mayurwar just came in droves. The the 2004 Santos Trophy in in in, uh, in at Ambedkar when when all the northeastern people just mm-hmm. came and came and came, you know. And then when when India would play the Nehru Cup in 2007, it's not that the the crowds don't come to watch football, eh? but but the thing is if if the product like we 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 learn to call all sports events as 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 products i don't know why but uh, if the product is 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 attractive enough people will come and yes the newspapers do take it up i remember how we went to town with 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 all these three events i was working with the uh, the pioneer in 97 and fc kochi and i am vijayan i mean it was it was it was brilliant similarly for the santosh trophy in 2004 and the and the nehru cup we we actually took out space and kept space for these guys the indian did i remember headline we had this uh, the indian team had a had a free day and we went to the hotel in the, in the meridian and we just spent the entire day and we said there's an indian team in town and there's a football team so you know those kind of things we we love these guys we love what they do we we, we appreciate this the struggle but we have our compulsions we have to understand that and the idea is trying to draw a balance here always yes i mean i think uh, one good way is to leverage dig- digital because you know whenever we talk about coverage on media invariably we end up talking about uh, uh, newspapers where space is finite and is increasingly becoming uh, premium i think uh, uh, we have to look at the entire gamut of media all the all the platforms that are available joy very clearly said tele- television is clearly a no no i mean uh, space in newspapers are finite i think the best way forward will be the digital way and uh, uh, i would like to have your comment here jodip do you think digital is the way forward <laughs> it must be since everybody is saying it must be that way forward i am not very really, i am not me <laughs> see i as i said as you said that the local football and the football should uh, should be covered and all those things yeah what joy said is right or the vijay was said is right a lot of the school football is being played they should be they should be given given more more space and uh, at the same time we should there are people we should we but we don't look at them there are pe- i can name three people 
football at the moment those do not have a, do, do not have a steady income but they run clubs at least two lower lower division club they love, run on their own money from where they get their money nobody knows at least there is one person in delhi football who 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 const who regularly withdraw money from his provident fund to run a club to pay for the jersey to pay for the tiffin to pay for the boots to pay for the convince of the boys they are doing it but they are somehow or the other they are as as you said it has siddharth said it has become a product it has become a product from the top as i told you the national body has become almost a privatized body and uh, and as if uh, they are the they are the whole model everybody is trying to follow it, follow them in the same manner see the uh, the uh, what siddharth said is of course uh, right they don't come out of uh, their uh, uh, one city to uh, this time but again the people of wall city have stopped playing football for the maybe for the last okay. because if you look at the teams of the wall city for the last 20 years they were not having any local players at, at them they were getting players from punjab and haryana even the even the teams like uh, city club or national or for mughal so for that matter so uh, yeah a right kind of balance has to be struck hmm. that i that i think your digital thing is very fine but people so mitro who are having so much passion even in these days even in these days they don't get even a line from a, from any of us as not a line from us but though the team which has showed uh, how a spectator free football match can be played even uh, two years before pandemic came came in uh, at the nehru stadium they were <laughs> they were given and much more space than these people i can name two people somitro who have, have no steady income they are running two local clubs in delhi how they are running only i know and they know perhaps i also don't know they know but none of us has come forward to give them little bit of uh, encouragement so somitro your digital thing is very fine that's the that's a call of the our path has the call of the time path has i cannot say ki uh, well uh, but also we have to strike a balance see the other side football is not business so, so mitro football is passion take it from me it's not a business how many clubs in how many clubs in this world are, are making making money so mitro how many clubs in this world are making money vijay you have to come in and uh, and control joydeep da he is going getting very emotional what is the balance according to you balance in i, I see i respect joydeep da because he is um, absolutely is my football guide my football guru so i will i will not contest but he has a point but i will also say that uh, uh, see he is talked about somebody who is who is sustaining a football club so why can't we help him sustain uh, uh, by by coverage have has any has have we, has has any one of us written about it no right it is football has vanished from uh, world city for many reasons because they now watch cricket they find cricket more attractive t20 cricket more attractive which joy promotes in such a big way you know so <laughs> <laughs> but but football is a poor man's game and uh, we probably forgot to to write about the poor man you know we we are busy writing about the big football uh, which which doesn't need us actually the football which needs us the footballers who need us have, are are probably often because we have we have forgotten them uh, that is my feeling i'm not blaming anyone everyone has his constraints about uh, uh, why they cannot write cannot include two paragraphs in a newspaper page when they have 3 3 pages but uh, we have forgotten our poor footballers that is the truth so and that please so that i'll be happy to be corrected that, uh, i'll be very happy to be corrected point taken point taken siddharth mm-hmm. and me defend yourself uh, uh, in the in the uh, mid 90s there was this ex player who who came to our office and saying that he wanted to start an academy today he runs a pretty successful academy and his basic premise was that he wants to teach rich kids that was what he kept saying rich kids rich kids i want the rich kids to play now whether he was trying to do them service i don't know but <laughs> it was surely not for the service for the game and like as vijay said that it's a poor man's game and in delhi the idea of of any sport was a poor man's sport was a middle class sport 
that is disappearing the, the the concept of delhi football has moved to noida it's moved to dwarka it's moved to as as joy says gurgaon yeah. there are rich academies there you know the moment kids start to stand up to the uh, the rwas and fight for their space in the parks that's when the idea of, of football in in the delhi in a very holistic way will, will change you know and for us to give us that space it has to start from them first we've done a bit we we, we try to do a bit like i keep saying it's a dilemma on a, on a on a daily basis yaar boss we are ignoring this we're ignoring that but yes i mean the larger it runs what do you do no i agree that it is not the media's job to make something come out come alive again i mean media will only live will only participate when things come alive and 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 you know because you know <clears throat> there are many compulsions i mean don't forget that we are all products of the system and the system is changing very rapidly and probably the last of a generation which which you know who started the formative years uh, uh, typing out press releases bunches of them i don't see anybody doing that because the press releases don't come anymore there's no space for press releases it's just not why you tell what it is across the board you know so it, it, there has been a there has been a transformation whether we like it or not but yeah we have to live with it okay we are coming very coming very close to our 90 minute uh, uh, deadline i think uh, we will just go around for your last comments we'll start with suresh ji aapne itna sab kuch suna aapko itna kuch bola ki media ka role going forward kya hona chahiye delhi football ke liye international football ke liye delhi football ke liye media ka role kya hona chahiye what is your view point and your last closing remarks in short मैं चाहता हूं कि किसी बड़ी शख्सियत को साथ जोड़ा जाए मैं आपको एक उदाहरण देता हूं 1950 के दशक में प्रेसिडेंट राजेंद्र प्रसाद प्रेसिडेंट स्टेट फुटबॉल टूर्नामेंट का प्राइस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन किया करते थे वो रेगुलर रहते थे एक बार एक बार वो बिहार पे दौरे पे थे और उस दिन फाइनल था प्रेजिडेंट स्टेट फुटबॉल टूर्नामेंट का उनके सचिव ने फोन किया कि आज साहब आज फुटबॉल का टूर्नामेंट का फाइनल है क्या इसे पोस्टपोन कर दिया जाए तो उन्होंने कहा नहीं मैं आ रहा हूं तो टूर्नामेंट पोस्टपोन नहीं हुआ होना चाहिए तो ये इस तरह की कमिटमेंट इस तरह की शख्सियत अगर कोई आके जुड़ेगी तो हमें कवरेज देनी पड़ेगी तो ये मैं चाहता हूं कि इस तरह की हम कोई दो चार का शख्सियत ढूंढे फुटबॉल दिल्ली ताकि उनको हम आगे लाएं, उनको लाएं तो उनके साथ मीडिया भी आए और कवरेज मिले विजय एनी सजेशन भी और वन पर्सन भी अरे आई मीन यू हर्ड वॉट सुरेश से Yes, you said that they, we should have somebody like that who can actually draw the people, the passionate, some big guy. Who can be this big guy? See, you will need a sponsor. Now, Delhi football will have to find a sponsor and look to have one tournament at least in 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 a season, a, a tournament involving say top twelve uh, clubs of the city. And uh, I am retired now, but I would love to cover one such tournament with. Jaydeep Da and Suresh Kaushik and this young man Meher Wasawda. He is a very bright young reporter. And Siddharth, he has written so much on Delhi football. So I would love to cover one tournament in their company. You know that is my honest desire. And I hope Delhi football organizes one such tournament. And Joy can come and do the marketing for it. Okay, Joy can do the marketing. Uh, Jaydeep Da. I mean, you heard Suresh. You heard uh, your good friend uh, uh, Vijay. and what's the way forward for the media to lift the image of delhi <clears throat> see everybody here who whosoever was talking from vijay to joy to suresh to sudar to like you and mehir everybody loves football all of them are lovers of football i sincerely believe they would like to do something but delhi football also will have to do something they have to do little bit of success has to be there no sponsor will ever come when you are if you have no success What, what sponsors, the, sponsors, what? sponsors don't come for come for promotion. No sponsor ever come for promotion. In not in my lifetime I have seen. If anybody is saying the moment a sponsor says I have come to promote the sports, I know he's lying. He's lying through his teeth actually. No. Yeah, so so football, football, football. Uh, also, Delhi football will have to in that case sit across with with the media people and talk with them that what could be the mutual idea. to take football delhi football ahead so 
all people are responsible in the same way and everybody will have to come forward at least one step forward to do what to do, nice. find out what to do about it. Okay. Mm. Right. Jay, what, uh, suppose you were made the marketing manager of Delhi football, what would you do? Me? Great job. Joy, oh, joy. Yeah, yeah. But two, two things I want to say. One is that, uh, I'll just tell you that there's an organization called Make My Trip, which is a NASDAQ listed company run by Deep Kalra, you know, one of the most successful companies in India and now in the world. Okay. You all heard of Make My Trip. Now, Make My Trip, the son of Deep, was a footballer in Delhi who played football in school level and has now gone to Germany on a, a sort of study comes learning football this thing for five years where he's going to go there. I'm not saying he's the right guy. What I'm trying to say is that there's a whole generation of very influential people who kids are crazy about football. Take advantage of that. I'm not saying that that means leave out the poor kids. In fact, take advantage of that. Take advantage of the fact that Football in many ways has touched a lot of influential people. Okay, you go to any of these Delhi International Football League matches. The football is rubbish. I mean, not rubbish, but you know, it's kids football. <laughs> but the kind of people that you have there, if you can tap them and say, and let me tell you, the kind of money that we are talking about is peanuts compared to the kind of money that any sustainable investment does. I would target. I would target people like that through their kids. That's the only way to get to them because. The capital city, if you can do a league, very, very youth oriented. You, but the only problem is to make this happen, you literally have to tell everyone that, you know, these are the things that need to be done to make this work. And you need everyone across to sit across the table, even in football, Daddy, to say that, okay, this is who we can target, this is what we can do. All right. The truth is, the best times in everything is when you've hit rock bottom. And either Delhi football right now is in rock bottom or very close to rock bottom. So. This is the time to turn it around and say, can we make a difference? I know that the current administration is trying to make a difference. Let's see what we can do here. So that, I'd, I'd love to help us on a personal basis. All of us, I know we love the sport. We, we'd love to help. I think that's why all of us are here today for this chat and we have given you your time. And Siddharth, your last comments. Yeah. Uh, the thing about uh, Delhi football sitting with the media, I don't think Delhi football is friendlier than the media, ever than, than it is now. It's, yep. it's on the friendliest basis. So uh, that apart, yeah, get the league in order, uh, mark out, mark out uh, slots and mark out quotas that you have to have at least four local players, two juniors players, like school level or college level. College level uh, university sports has stopped. Uh, not just in it, uh, not just Delhi, all over. That's the worst bit. All your all your cricket at one level used to come from the universities. Your your hockey was from there. That has stopped. To 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 get kids. You know, get the government school kids to start playing football again. Give them uh, at least two start spots in the starting eleven, and then you get two two big names from outside. If you can sign one and play them up, and yes, for the big events, don't call a Salman Khan or Virendra Sehwag like you would do. You know, for the for the Nehru Cup, we are going to watch uh, Sunil Shetri and and uh, and Baichung play. You know, why call these guys? And Make it a point to latch on to any international match that you can get your hands on. A couple of years ago, uh, the, I think Guwahati couldn't, couldn't host a match, some some India match. I don't remember which one. I told uh, I told Sadi that was get just top to play here in Delhi. You know, get them here. But somehow you know these things. I don't know how they work out. You know, they, they, they fall through. But the idea is to if you want to start getting the crowds, uh, get the India team to play. If you want to get Chetri back to playing in Delhi and he won't be playing for a local team for a long time, let him at least play for India in in in, uh, in Delhi. That will get people coming to watch. That's a, that, that's, a, that's a very good definition for balance, I think. Yeah, there should be active uh, things happening at the Ambedkar, you know, all the time. You know, at least once every four months, there should be a match, you know, a big match, you know, a big name. And yeah, start the tournaments again. You should, if, if Mohan Bagan in East Bengal get people from CR Park, uh, they should be uh, Gokulam uh, coming to play from uh, from Kerala. Probably a northeast team playing regularly. Uh, you know, JCT should be allowed to come back and play here. You know, you should do those things. Mohammedan Sporting should be a regular fixture. Nobody gets crowds moving in Delhi like Mohammedan Sporting would. Why in, across India? Not only across India. Yeah, I mean, no bigger pan Indian idea at the moment for the Maybe. like them. So yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Siddharth. We'll close with your comments. You're the youngest. 
you have to take the the media and Delhi football forward. So your last comments. Uh, uh, well, there are there are plenty of advices and sound ones already made for what can be done to make it better. From media's point of view, I think the the easiest and the best thing that we can do is to go out and report. I think local reporting is the essence of journalism. Uh, I mean, I'll give an example. I and Siddharth, the first time when we met was in Durban covering a football ma- World Cup match, uh, Germany versus Spain. The last time we met was at Subrata Cup at, I think, afternoon at Ambedkar Stadium. We so was that- Brazil. Brazil Holland. Oh yeah, Brazil Holland at Port Elizabeth. So so that's the range we are talking about. I think uh, as a journalist we should not be looking down at a local event, we should be rather celebrating it. And uh, I think that extra effort if we make regardless of whether the football or a hockey match or any sport is good or bad, it is a secondary thing. From a journalist point of view, I think the least we can do is to make an effort to go at the ground and at least make our presence felt. You have to. In fact, uh, that's a nice way of putting things, whether you cover a World Cup match, but finally you, you have to come down to your roots. I mean, that's where the beauty lies. And as Joy said that, you know, he, he gave the example of make my trip and this should be make my football and football Mary Jan, like Dilly Mary said that football is my job. So but thank you, gentlemen. Uh, it was wonderful conversing with all of you. As I said, we here, nice to meet you. So that same. Jyotibda, may your passion become stronger than ever before. Joy is the quintessential CEO, so he's spoken business. Vijay talked about nostalgia, and Suresh Bhai spoke about old Delhi. It was fantastic to have all of you here. And on behalf of Football Delhi, it was a wonderful session, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Oh, my God.